right, hello everybody. Welcome to another Cardboard from Mars. For those of you that are on the on the live stream, uh, you've already been on, and for those watching on the YouTube channel, welcome. Um, all right, so let's see what we got. Um, let's throw in a high good luck here, just to be sportsman like. And um, I've been playing a lot of Thorgate lately, so probably gonna just take Credit Core. Um, oh wow. Okay. Well, we got the physics complex, so I'm gonna do it. Although there's no, I don't have any really good energy cards in here, but I can dig for them. We'll take windmills. Well, I guess we won't. That's at seven. Acquired company is pretty good. Vesta. Um, big asteroid. All right, so here's the thing. Big asteroid's great because Credit Core's ability gives us four off, so this ends up being very cheap because we also get additional four titanium back, so I'll take this one. Uh, I should take fuel generators just as a way to get some energy if we're really going to try and make credit, uh, physics complex work, then uh, we're going to need uh, to um, take all the energy cards. Um, acquired company just for being a good card. Business Action Network to try and see some more things. I do like Commercial District, but um, I mean, honestly, if if I were playing without the Physics Complex uh, restriction, I would drop Physics Complex here and I would take Commercial District. But obviously, they're not compatible. If I'm trying to put everything, all my energy into the other, and. Um, so I think I'll stick with these. That's a lot of cards. I don't usually take that many cards out of the first uh, the first pack, but so <clears throat> let's see what we got here. So we're playing Teractor and Saturn Systems. Um, that's a little unfortunate in that uh, you know basically every every uh, Jupiter tag that we play potentially. Um, could work against us. Okay, starting off with Demos down. That's actually not bad for us in terms of um, playing this uh, big asteroid because it means that we can get the other heat bump. It also means that heat is going to go up very fast in this game. So cards that uh, cards that um, produce heat. Or are, have heat as a restriction are going to be really good. So given, I think that if, you know, if we really want the complex to be good, we're going to have to draw more cards. So, I, but I think that right now we can't force it. I think it has to be, it'll be a speculative pick. So we'll play Big Asteroid, try and get Vesta on and acquire a company. I think we can do all of that. Um, interesting. Okay. Let's see how many cards each of these players took. So he's got six cards, seven cards. Wow, Tractor took a lot of cards. So I wonder if these guys are going to go for Planner. Um, all right, so let's just do some math here. So we have 39 cash. If I play Big Asteroid, I'm going to get four credits back. Uh, and I'll get four Titanium. So the four Titanium will basically play for Ve pay for Vesta. And then um, I, I should have enough left to play acquired company. So I got to lead with let's lead with big asteroid. It does it does. It's not a great that we're not going to get the value off of um, uh, hitting people's plants, but that's okay. All right, um, and then I'm going to play acquired company. Yeah, we're gonna have to pass on business network for one turn, but that's that's okay. Um, I'm I'm gonna hold off on playing the Vesta shipyard and, until uh, hopefully these guys pass. It's just that, well, I guess they don't have enough. Well, Tractor has enough money to play asteroid mining consortium, but doesn't have the titanium production. One thing about playing Vesta shipyard is that. It's it's just super devastating if the Saturn Systems player gets Asteroid Mining Consortium. 
because like not only will we have given them a bump to their economy by playing this Jupiter tag, but then they're also going to to potentially take um, you know they already have a titanium production, so they can just play it right straight away. That would be pretty bad for us, but you can't live in fear. Have to play to win. All right, so let's go ahead and play uh, Vesta. And uh, no reason to play anything else. Um, the only reason to play fuel generators would be if I drew the exactly the card uh, that lets you spend an energy to draw a card. Uh, I can't remember what that one's called, but it's a science tag card. Um, but odds are odds are low, so I'm not going to do that. So one thing I like to look at just to see like how are, how are people's economies is um, what your credit production is. So if you look here, this this guy has a five credit production plus three because he's over twenty, so that's pretty good. He's at plus eight, and this guy's at zero. And we're at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the credit, the Saturn systems and I are pretty much at parity in terms of our economy, and the tractor player is a little bit behind. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. So I guess I guess the question here is what milestone are we going to go for? Building industries is decent. Um, if we were going to go for builder, then we could play fuel generators and building industries, and that's pretty cheap. I, I don't, I don't love these cards that take your energy away, even under the best of circumstances. And if we're going to try and make physics complex work, then obviously this is not great. I'm gonna take gene repair. I think it's just a better it's a better overall card, and if we're pushing in the science direction, that can be really good. Okay. So strip mine, on the other hand, is is very good and potentially worth spending that energy for. It's too bad. We're not gonna get I mean the other option would be to just take power plant. That would put us at two. I mean this goes against physics complex you know I mean, and again I mean it's like it's the best card though that's a tough one I think I'm gonna take strip mine. It's just too good. I, I I mean, if we just get a cheap power card, it's just so good. Um. All right, I'll take mineral deposits, since it looks like we're picking up some building tags here potentially. I don't know. That's a tough one. Um. So GHG did come around. This is not the kind of science tag that I like to turn my science strat strategy on with, and it's unreliable since I have to be at four. I think I will take... I think I'm basically just going to take these three, three, three cards and then pass the turn. Actually, I'll get Business Network down. I'm going to take those three cards and pass the turn. I think that's my play here. Um... I mean, there's basically two ways to get physics complex going. You can slowly accrue cards like fuel generators, but a much, much better way to do it is to get this going with quantum extractor or mass converter. And that's why I keep talking about these science tags, because really, that's, that is by far the best way to turn that card on. Earth catapult. So that's a good one. All right, so it's my turn here. I am going to go ahead and get Business Network going. Ugh, missing it. All right. This is a little bit of a hit to my economy, but it does let me see a bunch of cards. Black Polar Dust. 
I don't think I don't think that's going to be what I want to do here. Um, I just really don't like taking these hits to the to your economy. I mean, it does bump your heat production by three, but um, I don't know. I'm not not a big fan of that card. So the tractor player is eight cards. How are we on builder? So nobody has a building tag. Good to know. This is looking like a. Uh, this is looking like a kind of game where ground game, or or at least the competition for for mayor and gardener may not be quite as stiff, which means that planner. You know, it's it's quite likely that one of these players ends up going for planner. I'd really love to get strip mine going next turn if I can. It would require um, it would require a cheap building tag, or I mean, a cheap uh, energy production. Yeah, I'm, he's the tractor player is almost assuredly going for planner. I'm just going to pass here and get to the next generation. So I think where I'm at with this is my my plan my plan one is going to be to get strip mine going next turn if if at all possible. Um, That's going to get me two, potentially three building tags, depending on what I what I use to bump my energy. If I can find a card that bumps energy here, so maybe I start angling towards builder, and then if if I get the right additional cards, I could go for mayor or gardener. Okay. So standard tech is okay. I do like industrial microbes here. It gives us some energy. It's our second energy that we need to play uh, strip mine. I don't think we'll have enough cash. To, well, we might have enough cash to do all of it with. Uh, so I'm gonna take industrial microbes. I think that's gonna allow us to get strip mine going. Okay, interesting. So I really do like greenhouses. That card is really good. Although in this game so far, with a space player and a tractor player that doesn't seem to be playing to the board that much, although that could rapidly change after they take planner. Um, I kind of like Mohol here because if I'm about to play strip mine um, and industrial microbes, I'm gonna have three steel per turn. I could probably get Moho going the next turn and maybe pick up some more cards. So I'm gonna in this particular instance I'm gonna take uh, Yeah, I'm gonna take Moho. That's pretty good. Okay, Great Dam is the kind of card that, that would be good for physics complex. I will I, I will take it. I don't know if I'm gonna buy it, because we're just so far nobody's been playing any oceans. Looks like it may come down a little too late. On the other hand, it is a way that I could spend some of this steel that I'm going to be generating. It's it's looking like I'm going to want to go for builder, but I want to make sure that I can turn on. Um, I want to make absolutely certain that I have enough to get um, strip mine going this turn. So I have 39, and I've got mineral deposit, which is going to give me an additional five cash. So that's going to be, I'm at 44 essentially, and I need to play fuel generators and industrial microbes that's 13 so I will have enough if I take mohol and industrial microbes I should have enough to do that I'm gonna skip great dam that could be a mistake it's pretty good will I have enough if I take this so this would put, if I took these three cards I'd be at 30 
plus an additional five thirty five, and I would need, um, and I need twelve, and strip mine. No, I'd be too short. So I'm gonna skip Great Dam because I won't have enough cash to do it if I if I. Um, So I'm going to go ahead and start by playing Mineral Deposit. Hey, Wuffa. Wuffa. <laughs> Let me get some Mineral Deposit down here. And then I'm going to skip. I, I just, since I have to play two separate cards to get my energy up, what I don't want to have happen is that I play an energy card and then somebody plays a card that takes an energy for me, thereby negating my ability to play um, strip mine. So I want to slow roll here a little bit and get some, make them do some things and get some cash out of their hand before before I do that. Um, it would not surprise me if the Saturn Systems player has a, another big event card that drops some ocean tiles down. So it is. I wish I had had enough money to keep. Um, oh, he went for Saletta. Okay. Um, all right. So that means that the Saturn Systems player unlikely to be able to take my energy at this point. Um, there are a few cheap cards that do that, but um, he's probably not going to be able to do it. And if the Tractor player just plays one card that costs a little bit of cash, then probably I can safely deploy both of those energy cards. Let me make sure I did the math. So let me make sure I did the math on that correctly because if I take my action business action network, I don't think I have enough cash to actually buy one. Um, heat trappers. Okay, that's good. So he probably hit the Saturn Systems player. Yes, yes, he did. All right, so let's just check this again. So I need to play fuel generators, microbes. That's thirty or uh, thirteen, and then um, strip mine twenty-five. So I need altogether thirty-eight, which I have exactly. So yeah, I can't use um, I can't use uh, this this action. So I'm going to play this one first. Um, thing about industrial microbes is that it's um, if somebody chose to hit my energy here and I couldn't play strip mine I'd rather have microbes because it doesn't reduce my economy by one I you know fuel generators obviously the worst one to play out of that so on the next turn I can play fuel generator strip mine um, and if somebody disrupts that play I, I take less it's sort of less hurtful to my my strategy. One thing that I see a lot when I play is I think that <clears throat> when people go to build an economy early, they they don't sort of turn the corner and start trying to score points. You, you just don't have a ton of time to build your economy before you have to... Ooh, Electro Catapult, that card's sweet. Um, you don't have a ton of time before you have to start working on scoring points. So playing Strip Mine now is really the perfect time to do it because I'm going to get a lot of benefit out of it. Um, so let's go Fuel Generators. And we'll get the Strip Mine going. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What's sweet is that strip mine gives me four back, so I can actually do my business action network uh, now because my special ability is credit core gives me four back. I kind of forgot about that, but that's actually sweet. Um, <clears throat> so where are we at? I should have three now. Yeah, I have three tractor as two, and I've got one, two in hand so in terms of building tags because I think that building tags is going to be my easiest way to get a milestone. So 
So now if we look at economy, I'm producing six and six. That's 12, 13, and I'm plus four on my TR. So uh, 17. This guy is producing six, seven, eight, and he's plus three, so 11. So I'm a little bit ahead of, and, of that guy, and, and we're way ahead of the tractor player um, in terms of economy. Ooh, Lake Marineris. You know, this is actually the kind of game where Lake, Mar Lake Marineris may be good. Um, in that there's no ocean tiles played at this point, and um, the heat is already at plus five. I'm gonna take that card. It's a little, um, I think that card could be good. Particularly if people are, I mean, we did already play a couple of the big asteroid cards, but um, the Saturn system player does have Saleta going, which, you know, kind of, I mean, I know he got nerfed a little bit on it, but um, the heat is likely to rise quickly and nobody's playing ground games, so the oxygen may take a while. All right. So here's Development Center. That was the card I was talking about before. Um, nobody is making steel, so escarpment is not. Um, not an immediate threat. Although if I pass it, it's likely to come back to hurt me. I do like Development Center. I. It's another building tag, lets me draw more cards. I'm gonna keep development center. You could also make a case for farming for the same reasons that the heat's likely to go up quickly. Um, in general, I don't value cutting the hate cards um, that much. I mean, if somebody wants to spend the time to come after my, build, my um, steel production, it's like, okay, you got me. All right, this is a tough one because Convoy is great, um, but Deep Well Heating is also good. It gives us, it lets us turn on Development Center. It uses steel. That's really tough. I, I, I would really like both of these cards and they're pretty cheap. Convoy though draws me three cards because nobody's taken this thing yet. I think I'm going to take Convoy here. Hey Wefa, yeah, most of the I, I pretty much record most of the games that I play. Um, Eos Chasma or Domed Crater. Domed Crater could be good here. I think I'm going to take the city. Again, I'm working kind of at cross purposes with Physics Complex. Um, yeah, I basically record almost every game I play. I don't always do it because sometimes I get kind of sick of doing the uh, uh, commentary. All right, so I'm going to take Convoy, Dome Crater, and Development Center. Let me think about this, because I'd like to play Mohol as well. So Mohol is going to be 20, and Convoy is going to be 15. I've got 12 Titanium, so I'll need 3 for this. All right, so I can use all this. So this is 6, 12, 18, 38, 44. So if I take 9, I'll have 35, and I want to play Mohol and convoy. I'll have exactly enough. Okay, I'm gonna take those three. You know, Private, so Dome Crater, it's a building tag for one. It's a building tag in a city. And, and since nobody's playing cities right now, um, I think that it, I might be able to back end into Mayor. And the exact way that I'd wanna do that is playing building tags so that I can also get um, uh, something onto the board. You're totally right, but I think that I'm going to draw, I'm about to draw four cards. 
I'm assuming that nobody takes that ocean spot. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna see four more cards this turn and four next turn. So I'm gonna have plenty of time to to keep hunting for a way to get power. I do like uh, that card, Deep Well Heating. I'm I'm you know that's definitely a good card, but. The Dome Crater thing, I mean, these cards are good. These these things, it also gives me three plants, which if I place a city down kind of in this area, it gets me close to playing a, a greenery tile. Um, so my priorities this turn are going to be Convoy and Mohol. And I'm going to pick up a lot of... Um, I'm going to get a lot of cards this turn. And this is just a point. I mean, it's just it's good. It's it does a lot of things. That card does a lot of good, uh, a lot of things. All right. I hope he doesn't take the cards. Yeah, of course he did because he's going for planner. That's too bad. Okay. Um, well, it makes that plan a little less good. Uh, it's still not bad though. So why don't I play? Let's go ahead and play convoy. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that one on <laughs> sadness. <laughs> I'm gonna put the convoy on this guy. I'm trying to decide where I want the mohole and where I want the convoy. Um, all right, and then let's go ahead and play mohole. Let's see what we got here. So, how are we doing here for builder? Four to three. And I'll still get to look at one more card. And I picked up Search for Life. How many science tags do I have? None at the moment. So I think I'm just gonna look at my card and then pass. That's unfortunate. I really would have liked to pick up those two cards. energy tapping <clears throat> well glad I didn't play <laughs> glad I did not play uh, a single energy card there that worked out well for me um, so I think he hit the Saturn systems player yeah I think right because I didn't have any yeah um, alrighty let's look at the card business contacts yeah, I'm going to take that. Business contacts will let me see a bunch of cards. Um, so that makes it less important that I really get sort of perfect cards. Yeah, no, I agree. Yeah, me too, Private. I was just thinking that that escarpment coming around was uh, probably good. I think he took the flooding out of that pack, which ended up being pretty good for him. And he actually may have drawn... Uh, he may have drawn energy tapping out of that. <laughs> hey, Paul, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even see you, man. Um, I think you need to write in like long time fan, first time, uh, first time commenter. <laughs> 
Paul, if you have questions about my strategy, just let me know because I know that it's confusing for you sometimes. So just just uh, just let me know. I'll try and do my best to to explain it. <laughs> All right, man, he's got that electro catapult going. That's really good. Um, All right, so I think that's all I got this turn. Not gonna play Search for Life yet. I don't. I don't really love Search for Life. I would play it if we needed the science tags. Um, I mean, we have three science tags in hand right now. So if we were to get something like Quantum Extractor or um, Mass Converter, I might. I might push a little harder in that direction. Phobos Space Haven. It's worth noting that that's a city for mayor. Um, I actually really like Phobos Space Haven because its titanium generation is great. It's three points, and it, it's kind of like a, a city that you can play that you don't have to protect. So if you want to go for mayor, you can kind of play that, play another city on the board, and then people don't really know where to drop the hate cards around you. <clears throat> okay, well, we got giant ice asteroids, so that's an amazing draw for us. Um, and definitely going to take that. There's no, I mean, we might even get arrow breaking back, although unlikely. Um, at this point, I'm not sure I would take arrow breaking. I might. Um, So beam beam handles some of our energy problems, but it's a cost a heck of a lot, and um, and it also is good for the um, uh, Saturn Systems player. So we're in Gen Five. So Odd is up. So I'm passing to Teractor. I'm surprised that this made it to me from Saturn Systems. Um, I think I'm going to take Tundra Farming and let the Teractor player hack this. Um, if he wants to play it, that's fine with me. Um, oh yeah, good point, Private. I also don't have another Jovian. Oh no, I did. I played Vesta Shipyard. I do have another one. So, okay. Well, I'm going to take I'm going to take advantage import here, and if um, if uh, arrow breaking comes around, then I might actually take that. Also, Ice Asteroid pushes, pushes us closer to making Lake Marineris good. I mean, Lake Marineris is just really, really good if you can get it for full value. So yeah, optimal air breaking did not come around. So I'm going to take Ice Asteroid, and I mean, we're almost at Tundra Farming. I'm going to go ahead and take Tundra Farming as well. Um, let's see. Or do I want that? It's pretty good. I think I do want that. Let me think about that for a second. I should have just enough to play Ice Asteroid. Because these t two cubes will pay for these cards and then I've got 37, so I'll have just enough. Yeah, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep those. Um, yeah, no, I agree about that private. But the problem is, if you're playing, if to play optimally, you have to trust that your opponent opponents are going to do some things correctly. Because if you end up, you know, t cutting all those cards, like you, this is why I really don't like the. In general, I don't like cards that are designed to hurt other opponents that much. I mean, they can be very good, but um, I don't generally like playing those cards very much because you hurt yourself really to the benefit of the player that you didn't target. Um, let's see here, so he's making one a turn in terms of plants. It is unfortunate that we're not getting full value off of these uh, um, these big cards in terms of um, stealing people's plants, but... Um, I, I guess I could wait and see if somebody played something that makes plants. 
trying to I'm trying to gauge the risk reward here. Um, I guess I can't really wait though because I don't I don't have enough money. If I were to do business action network now, I wouldn't have enough money. So I, I'm going to drop the asteroid. All right. So let's get. Question is, do I want plants or do I want the card and some cash? I think I just want card and cash here. And I'm going to hit the, I guess this guy already did his, um, he already did the uh, electro catapult, so it doesn't matter. Alrighty, so then let's go ahead and take a look at our net card here, large convoy. Well, definitely going to take that one too. Um, that card's great. I wish I had that arrow breaking. So yeah, I really want to get um, pets or something like that going too. So I got tardigrades. How many cards does this guy have? Ten. I mean, oh, and the Saturn Systems has thirteen. So I guess I guess Saturn Systems is going for Planner. looking at that builder. I mean, I guess I could also push for Terraformer. I'm going to be at 30. But I really want to get Builder. I think that's the main one I want to get. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten uh, fairly fortunate with that. I mean, Credit Core is just amazing with uh, with a space titanium strategy because all those cards are so expensive and they just you know you just get so much money back. I think I've already played. Let's see how many cards have I played that are over twenty one, two, three, four. So I've already made sixteen cash off of that. That's pretty good. So I think I'm just I'm gonna bump the heat and then pass. Um, I want to push this. I want. I mean, I know that it, it it can turn other people's plant engines on by by going so high on the heat quickly. But um, I really want to turn Lake Marineris on. That's really good for me. And so far, these guys are just they're playing a game that doesn't it doesn't seem super conducive to dropping stuff onto the ground. Yeah, there's the consortium. Unfortunately, I I wonder who he hit. Probably me. I just feel like I'm ahead right now. He probably recognizes that. Yeah, he hit me. I think appropriately so. So that's unfortunate. But uh, what are you gonna do? I mean, let's see here. I actually got most of the utility out of it already. I mean, I already played several big space cards, so that doesn't hurt too bad. <laughs> yeah, card's good. No doubt. So I am going to have a lot of steel next turn. It might be nice to prioritize some cheap building tags. Oh, it's too bad that he had that one. We passed that one earlier. Okay, so... Definitely need to. It's tough. Um, that guy's now ahead of me in builder. I think he's five four. Yeah. How many cards do I have? Ten. He's got. We all have ten cards. So everybody's kind of flirting with planner. I mean, one thing I could do if I think that I'm going to lose out on 
builder is I have business contacts. That gives me plus one. That basically puts me at 11. I could just try and buy a bunch of, and I also have the ability to buy a card out of business action network. So I could actually get planner next turn if I just spent the whole turn collecting cards. Um, I think that if I get, since nobody has any other thing that's really competing for a milestone, I'm, I'm, I'm incentivized to push pretty hard for builder because if I can cut them off of builder, then they're, then I'm actually better positioned for these other ones as well. Um, we'll just have to see what we get. If I get some cheap building tags, then I'll keep pushing in that direction because I have, I have the tags. Let's see. Like what would be great is a card that gives me a little bit of power that turns on all of my building tags. That was an unfortunate sequence of plays where that guy basically got his titanium up to, I think, five. Um, okay. I do love, I love these, uh, I love these kinds of cards, the Olympic Olympus Conference, and I do have several science tags in hand here. Um, Tropical Resort, also very good. Um, since the heat is running out, this just turns into points and it's a building tag. Rover construction is also pretty good. I think all these cards are good. So I hope that I, one of these, these ta one of these ones wheels, if I were the Saturn systems player, I'd probably take tropical resort. And if I were the tractor player, I'd probably take Rover construction. Interesting water splitting plant cards. Good. Um, I'm not going to take aquifer pumping because I have uh, Lake Marineris. That's my whole goal. So I'm going to take water splitting plant. I don't think I'm going to take that one just based on the way this is going. Oh, shoot. You're right, Private. I forgot about the convoy. Livestock might have been better. I totally forgot about that. I have three more chances. I've got predators, fish, and birds. Um, but you're, you're right. Livestock could have been very good there. Yeah, I didn't even think about that one. Okay. Wow. Okay, let's see. Bushes came around. I've got one plant tag. How many plant tags do these guys have? One... One. Man, that's tough because bushes is immediately good for me, whereas this one, well, this is actually the, the oxygen is pretty far away. I'm going to take bushes here. Oh wow, livestock did come around. Okay, better lucky than good. All right, so I'm gonna take livestock and Olympus Conference. I am I am going to skip bushes. I just have enough stuff to play. Uh, maybe that's a mistake. Well, I'm definitely not taking all. I'm not going to take the splitting plant, but I, I am. I'm kind of torn about this bushes. I kind of like to conserve cash right now. I don't think I'm going to play this this turn. I think I'm going to be fighting for builder. And the other option is that these cards are good, so if I could just go for planner. Hmm. But then it forces me to buy this card and play business contacts. Like it's it's basically 
loading up my it'd be it'd be taking this entire turn off. It's pretty good though. But then I'm giving up on builder. Interesting. It's an interesting choice. All right, I think, I think I'm just going to take planner here. This would be 12. Put me at 25 cash. Then I have to spend 7 to 18. Buy another card to 15. And then it's basically going to take my entire turn. On the other hand, if I fight for a builder and I lose, I will not be in a good position for planner. Okay, I'm going to take them all. Going to take them all. All right, so let's go ahead and start with business contacts. Actually, let's go ahead and take this one first. Okay, that's good. Take that one. I'm going to skip here, and then I'll just uh, play business contacts and then take planner. Yeah. Man, if he has like research planner, I'm going to be super bummed. But there's no way I could have gotten around that. I mean, if he does research planner, he's likely to be able to beat me on builder too. <laughs> That's the thing about that. Maybe. Oh, he may not have enough cash for that. Okay, he's got IO. Okay. That's okay. IO is definitely good, but since we're getting more towards the late game, it's not as good. Its main benefit is as a multiplier because he's never going to get the titanium value out. Oh, yeah, you're right, because he was at 14, so he'd be at 15. Yeah, you're right. Okay, I was safe there. All right. So I'm a business contacts. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I think Saturn, he might. He might win it. I don't think it's a done deal. Okay. All right, so what I want here, I still have the dream of getting Builder. Okay, that's helpful. That's a cheap building tag. And let me see what kind of uh, tags I've got. No plant. I am going to have an animal. Let's see here. So I am going to have all the tags. Artificial lake could be good. That's another building tag. Does this guy have another bump? He does. This guy does not. So we're almost at negative six. I don't think I have a way to get the heat up. He's likely to bump that heat though. But Ecosystems is just a cheap three points. And I mean, this is two points though and a building tag. That is a tough one, because this artificial lake is good. How many tag? He's at. We're all pretty close on builder, and I've got one tag that I want to play. Two. Three, yeah, I think I think I think it's artificial lake. That's close. But I don't want to play splitting plant. I mean I don't really have an interest in playing that. Um, 
just for the sake of, of the building tag. I'd, ra I'd rather get some value out of it, and artificial lake gives me a lot of value. Um, all right, so now I, I want to, since, since I don't have priority on this one, I mean, the fact that he had to spend so much cash there is really good for me. Um, because even though he has priority on me for the next round, he just may not have enough cash to beat me to it. So I want to play as many building tags this turn as I can. I think I can only get mine down. I might be, well, actually, no, I can get both. No, I'm one short. So I'll probably sell a card. Yeah, I know. I'm going to take. I'm going to play mine and Olympus Conference this turn. And I'll sell a card to, to do that. This is why I, I wasn't super keen on bushes, although I needed it because for the built for the planner, is because I, there's still a lot of other things I want to do. So physics complex not looking like it's going to be good in this game at all. I will actually maybe even sell it. Let me. How's it looking for scientist here? So tractors at two. I'm at zero. How many cards? Tractor player has 11 cards, so they could also be a problem for me for builder. I mean, the other option is that I could just try and rush towards Terraformer. But the way the way that this is looking, I'm I'm likely to get Terraformer anyway, unless somebody builds a city, unless unless the tractor guy builds a city. Okay, that's good for me. That turns on artificial lake. Robotic workforce. Well, we're getting into a zone here where he may think he may think that he has me on scientists and funds that, and then I might be able to sneak up on him there. So I'm going to play mine. And I'm going to get, what are, where am I at here? I have I have exactly 15, so I could play, I'd probably just play Artificial Lake. It's better than Olympus Conference right now. The lake will give me, where do I want to play it? Maybe just pick up some steel over here, steel and cash. It's pretty good for me right now. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Steel and cash. I want all the steel I can get since I'm going to be rushing that. Yep. The, also, the reason artificial lake is better is that it gets it also is a bump to my um, terraforming rating. Okay. And man, if I can get the heat up to Lake Marineris, that puts me at 33. I'm pretty. I'm definitely within striking distance of Terraformer at that point. All right, so I'm up one now. So I. Yeah, I mean, if these guys have three building tags and the way and the ability to do it, they can beat me because they have priority on me on this round. But it's okay um, because what I'll do is I'll play the building tag that I wanted to play anyway, and then if it's open, I'll take it, and if it's not, I'll I'll try and move into um, Terraformer AI Central. Okay, that's a building tag for him, but he's gonna have to. If he doesn't have all the tags that he needs, okay.
Yeah, um, 222. I, I think that we're doing fine here. Um, I mean, if the Saturn Systems player just has, like, you know, three other, all, you know, two other multipliers and, you know, three more tags, it's going to be tough for us. But we're, you know, we're doing fine here. Okay, so interesting. I'm gonna take um, security flea is not one I really care that much about. If the Saturn Systems player wants to, you know, put a couple points on here, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna take Trans Neptune Probe. Um, I think there's a chance that the Teractor player is gonna fund Scientist. It, it's being pretty hard to beat him with AI Central, just because you draw so many cards, you tend to draw into your tags. Um, okay. Food factory. I don't have a plant production at this point, although this card is, is one that I like. Um, I do like viral. I don't really like, actually, I don't really like viral enhancers that much. I'm going to cut food factory just in the off chance that somebody has, or like is still going to be going for, um, builder. I just want to cut that card so they don't have it. So wave power is not bad for us. It lets us turn on, it turns on development center and domed crater. Um, domed crater is actually looking pretty good to me right now. Um, I know we passed um, insects or whatever, so I don't want to pass all these. Question is, am I going to take wave power? Would I actually play it? Would I have the money to play Olympus Conference, Domed Crate? No, I don't think I have the money to do all that. But it will turn on Development Center for the next turn. I don't know, kind of back and forth on that. Um, I don't think I'm playing that, so I guess I will take the wave power. All right, so what cards do I want out of here? The other thing is that if if I get if I get um, Olympus Conference going, Trans Neptune Probe is, is is pretty good. I'm gonna take that one. You could make a case for Food Factory. Like I could play a plant card. Like I could play Tundra Farming Food Factory. That's not bad. Or I could play Bush's Food Factory and then use Olympus Conference as my other tag. That's actually pretty good. It's a point, a building tag, and it's plus four to my economy. I think in the end that might be better than playing these other tags. Like if I could get Dome Crater down, I would do that, but Development Center, This also gives me a little bit of insurance for Banker, because this guy may fund Banker. Mm, that's a tough one. Maybe I should abandon Scientist and just try and get second in that. Maybe just not take this card. I have enough sign tags that I should definitely be able to get second. Uh, I don't know. I like that card. Paying nine for a point. That's a tough pick. Mm.
All right, I think I'm just gonna take Food Factory. I don't know, that's a tough pick. Okay, this is a very interesting turn here. In order for Saturn Systems or Teractor to beat me to Builder, they, they, they would have to play two tags right now. They're each going to have to play, whoever wants to compete for it will have to play two tags. And I do think I'm going to be able to, if I can fire off that, um, okay, not a tag. So Saturn Systems is giving up on Builder. Let's see what the Tractor player does here. Big moment. I mean, if I can pick up Builder here, that's that's just insane. He only has 13 cash, is that right? Wow. How does he not have more cash than that? I, th I, don't, I don't think he's gonna be able to do it with only 13 cash. Okay, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna get Builder too. Man, that's amazing. Yeah, he still can't compete though, because he's gonna be at. He's gonna. He's just gonna be at six. That's a good place for a city right there. Okay, so I guess he's gonna go for mayor then. Yeah, he'll get mayor. That's good. Well played for him. All right, so um, I want to get my plan going. So I want to do. Um, let's go ahead and do bushes and um, let's do tundra farming. Oh, let's just do bushes. and food factory. All right, I should be at seven now. Yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna get Builder. And then if he doesn't, if he falters on, um, if he falters on playing, going for mayor, then, um, I'm going to be able to get Terraformer too. All right, so the building tag I'm going to play here is going to be Olympus Conference. And then I'll take Builder. Then I'll be able to bump the heat. I haven't given up on splitting plant. Like there's a possibility that I just draw a big science card that lets me get there. I'm surprised that the Saturn Systems player went for plant production because I don't see that player winning unless unless they just have a stacked hand of Jovians. Like now that it's looking like he's going to be locked out of milestones, basically 
if he has to spend the money to buy cities, he won't have the money to play Jovians. And Okay, there's his building tag. It's too late though. Yeah. I think there's a, a, a non-zero chance that one of these guys quits if I take the second milestone. I hope that doesn't happen. I put it on karma level two, so hopefully it's people that that stick around. That appears to be a feel bad moment, even if even if this game I think is still totally up for grabs, really for anybody. But okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play Olympus Conference. And I'm going to go ahead and take Builder. Alrighty. So... I've got three cash. I'm going to... I guess I'll look at a card and just see if it's something amazing. I guess I could play, I mean, Search for Life draws me a card as well. So I guess I'll look at, I'll just do my business action network, but I think I may play Search for Life. I'm pretty confident this Tractor player is gonna fund Scientist, and so I wanna position myself to get second there. Um, the Saturn Systems player, yeah, I guess he's in a little bit of a tough spot because he wants to fund Miner, but I've also got a lot of uh, production of stuff. Um, and so does that guy, really. I guess Thermalist, but he's not so far ahead in that. I guess he's got four. I've got five. I actually have more production than he does. Yeah, 222. I do have too many cards. I agree with you. Although, a lot of the cards that I have are good. I'm just not sure which ones I'm going to play. Excuse me for one sec. All right, sorry about that. Like, I don't want to sell water splitting plant, and then, um, yeah, that's also true. Private, yeah, having being able to to wait everybody out on the last turn is is really good too. Um, Two twenty two. I would definitely sell these cards if if there was something that I wanted to play that I was waiting to play. But right now, I think all I'm gonna do is I am gonna play the search for life. Um, it draws me a card because I already have a card resource and I have the uh, Olympus Conference going. So at a minimum, I can sell it for one. Um, it's a science tag, which I'm almost positive this tractor player is going to fund scientist. And um, there's an off chance that I could beat him on that. Not likely, particularly since I gave up the Trans-Neptune probe. Um, but it's possible, and I, it, it, it may be possible to get to five to play Interstellar Colony Ship. I may actually just have better plays than that in the end game, but this is, this is a strong play that kind of comes out of nowhere. Um, and I do have some t titanium production down here. Not, not as much, now that they kind of took it, but... All right, well, there's the Quantum Extractor. Um, that's a little bit unfortunate. So it's, it's very unlikely I'd be able to beat him to Scientist but the, yeah, so uh, I think though that let's go ahead and take our action here. Hired Raiders, nah, I'm not gonna spend that. I'll go ahead and bump the heat here.
I mean, there's still a narrow path for me to get to Terraformer because this Teractor player does not have a lot of money production. I mean, he's only got 22. Like, he may not even be able to build a city. I mean, he, he has the Electro Catapult, so he's going to be at 29, um, 32. So he has 32 cash. Like, he's going to have to take some actions, unless he has a cheap city, which he certainly could. I mean, he could have, like, Cupola City or something like that. Um, pretty likely that this guy is going to start the next round by taking Mayor. But if he doesn't, I'm, I'm not in a horrible position to, to get it, particularly if the heat keeps going up. Okay. So that's both good news and bad news for me. It kind of sucks that uh, I set him up for that, but it does turn on my... Um, it turns on my full value of Lake Marineris, which is just going to be absolutely amazing next turn. And basically, I'm, I am going to have the option, I think, of, of taking... Let's see here. So if I had... In order for me to take Terraformer next turn, I'll have to play this and then bump the Heat one. Um, it would probably have to be a standard project. Anti-grav, wow. Definitely not going to win Scientist, but I will be positioned to take second on it. So I'm going to save my cash here rather than play this Search for Life because I still think there's an off chance that I can get uh, Terraformer. What it would require is that I, the ideal way to do it would be for me to draw a, a cheap space card that lets me Terraform a little bit um, using this cash because I'm going to be at 32, 37. It's going to be tough. I'll need something that is in the like 10 to 15 range, get a, get a bump. Protected Habs. Okay. Yeah, no, that's true. But I, I think that basically if the Teractor... Interesting. Um, if the Teractor player can do it, he's going to do it right away. So it's not as much of an issue about two turns. Like... like um, I mean, I, that is a true statement that I, I will need him to go through two sets of actions before I can claim it. But um, I basically, if he's got it, he's just going to do it now because... Okay. Okay, so Predator is also good with Convoy. And I don't have to have plant production for it, although I do have plant production. Okay, so here's, the, here's that cheap um, card that we needed to do it which is Mining Expedition, um, it, it does kind of suck passing Predators. I'm going to pass Predators. I'm going to take this Mining Expedition. I think that's exactly what we needed. So I can play a Lake Marineris, Mining Expedition. Okay, I'm going to hack Ice Asteroid because I, well, let's see, which way am I passing? It's Gen 8. So I'm passing to Saturn Systems. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. So Ice Asteroid, I don't need to take this because I'm planning to pick up the last couple of um, things. So I'm gonna take Alloys and let this go on to the Saturn Systems player, right? Because I'm even down, yeah. And then he might think, oh, this is gonna be amazing for me because I've got all this extra titanium and then I'm gonna play um, Lake Marinera. So what would be absolute just insult to injury. Oh, and there's birds. Okay. So I'll take I'll take birds. I think basically since I have livestock, I don't need those other things. Um I won't take birds, but it's nice just putting it on the bottom. And 
the question is, do I want alloys? It's pretty, I mean, it almost pays for itself just with the cubes that I have, but it's pretty late. It is a science tag. It might draw me a card. Um, alloys is, if I'm planning to play Crater, it's good. I don't have a ton of other steel cards that I want to play. Let me make sure I have enough to do what I want. So I've got Lake Marineris, and I'm gonna play um, that and the 12 costing card. That together is 30. 33, I'm already gonna have to sell two cards. So I can't take the alloys. The only thing I can take out of this pack is Mining Expedition. And even then I'm gonna have to sell a couple cards to make this work. Although, no, because I'll get, I'll get some cash back. Uh, with the ocean tiles. So I'll have just enough to do this. I mean, he does not have a lot of cash right now. Well, this comes back to what 222 is saying because he could sell, he could go Electro Catapult. That puts him at 24. And then if he's got Cupola, he could probably afford it with the combination of. I think he would have enough cash then, because then he'd be at 24, 28. Yeah, I think he'd have it. Yeah, I think... Um, interested to see what he does here. Yeah, so he's got the cupola. Well played. All right, well, that opens me up then a little bit to... What awards do I want to go for? Not landlord. Probably not banker, not scientist. I'm not looking great on these awards, but I do have a lot of flexibility. All right, well, I have to play Lake Marineris right now because uh, I, I just passed that ice asteroid. Um, play this one here and this one here I just I know it's a little less cash for me but I don't want to set up like really awesome spots for him to place uh, or to get cash back here and I don't think there's anything else that I have time pressure on let's see are these guys is anybody about to make a plant Wow Saturn systems up to eight on plants um, doesn't really change the equation if I do that so let's just go ahead and look at my card import hydrogen yeah not gonna take that one because likely that last ocean tile is coming down somewhere I don't want to buy that and then have it just rot in my hand Okay, so then maybe this is the turn that I want to get tundra farming going. Maybe try and get a little, just a little bit of plant production here. Yeah, I think I like playing tundra farming here. That's a good play for me. And I get, I just keep saving up titanium. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, private. No, I agree. I think all the awards are kind of up in the air right now, except for scientists. Like, if I were the Teractor player, I would I would try and fund that pretty soon, uh, just to get the value out of it. I'm I like I'm certainly not going to catch him. Um, but what's nice about that is that I'll be second there. I'm not sure what the Saturn what the Saturn Systems player is funding. Interesting. Probably come, having a city come down next. I don't, I don't think I have enough to. Well, I could sell. I could sell something and just put a city down here. Yeah, 222. I don't think that I'm going to be able to get Convoy down in time. I, that's better as a late game play, and Livestock has to get to 9. So, interesting. I wonder who he, wonder who he took that from. Was it me? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I think he, no? I'm not sure who he took that from. Um... So interesting thing here is that I could I could just standard project a city right here. Like that's pretty annoying for this purple player because he's got such high uh plant production. He'd probably just buy a city here then, I guess. Let's see here. He's at 26. Like, he's definitely buying a city for his next action. I get four cash back on it, too. Yeah, I don't have a way to get Dome Crater down. I don't have enough money, I don't think. Um, let me let me just let me do the math on that. So, because the dome crater would be great right here. So, if I standard project an energy that would cost me eleven, so altogether that'd be thirty-five, and I've got twenty-one and eight, which is twenty-nine. So, I don't have a way to get the crater down right now. I think what I would have to do is sell some cards. I'd have to sell four cards. Um, I don't know if there's four cards I want to sell. Yeah, I agree. I'm just not seeing a great way to do it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and play Search for Life while I still can. It's a science tag. It lets me draw a card. Arrow break to ammonia. All right, let's do it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Dude, genius! Genius right there! <laughs> Man, people are gonna love that when they see that. <laughs> Oh man, that was great. <laughs> oh jeez, that is dude, I deserve that, man. You'd have no idea how many times I've whiffed on that card. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. <laughs> hey, you know, I mean Play well, get rewarded, right? I mean, oh man, that was that was awesome. <laughs> um, yeah, the problem though, uh, oh wow, he didn't play a city. Okay, he did play a city. Um. All right, I was gonna, I was gonna say, 
So he must be thinking about minor. I think that's what he's probably thinking about. Um, well, where does that leave me to stake my spot out? But not a lot of great places to play cities here. Maybe just, I don't know, maybe like here or something and try and pick up some cash on these oceans. Maybe here. All right. Um... I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get tundra farming going. Now these guys don't have much cash left, so I think I'm just gonna pass here. And I know I'm I'm taking a little bit of a risk because I have a whole plant here, but I get to lead off next turn, so my next turn will probably be to buy a city. And then and then place that plant. I mean, it's going to be annoying if I come up with a way to get some energy because I would like to get the dome crater down. Um, thinking maybe I. Okay. Well, that makes it very desirable for me to place my city over there. So that's probably what I'll do is just put it over here. Um, Let's see here. It won't let me look at his cards. Like, what's wrong? Um, all right. So, yeah, I, I do I do wish I had a way to get energy going because um, it'd be really nice to play domed crater because I have all this steel too it's just the perfect card to play I guess he's trying to angle for minor too all right I think I'm done here so it would be great to get that dome crater down. I, I guess my other option here would be if I picked up something like uh, satellites or uh, something that just let me really bump my economy, I might be able to go for a banker. Um, that's very risky, of course. I'm really surprised that the Tractor player hasn't funded scientists yet. I, um, I think that that's a mistake. I think he should have done that by now, but on the other hand, he's had some pretty tight um, sequencing with his money, and he, he's clearly playing very well, so I can't be too critical of it. Um, all right, well... This game's close right now. This guy's got some very nice uh, reductions in cost. He's going to have a lot of points at the end of the game. Pretty impressive display by the tractor player so far, I have to say. Like, uh, Just given that he was pretty far behind on economy to start with. Um...
Okay. So this is great. This is finally some power. Um, it's a point and I can use steel for it. So that's pretty good. I'm willing to pass the tech demonstration. I'm definitely going to take that power production. Um, none of these cards seem very good to me. I guess I'll just take... I don't really care about power grid either. I guess if somebody wants... I just don't... I'm not going to play that. So I guess I'll just hack this plant card. I don't think that plant card is that amazing at this point, but... Um, algae's no good, subterranean, well, I am leading off, I could pick up the, the last ocean tile. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah, sorry, yeah, private, it came too late, I just didn't think about it. I don't know if I'd pay seven for that privilege, though, I, I think, basically, it'd be a point, because it'd be one turn sooner, I think the convoy play, just dumping them, I don't usually um, worry so much about it. I guess I'll just leave the convoy play open because I think we're going to get to nine this turn. I'm going to take tech stress power. Okay, so the question is, do I try and float these plants across this turn? I'm because what I'd love to do is play tech stress power and then and then dump and then dump the city over here. I'm. I mean, the reality is that most of the big plant hate cards are gone. Demos down, giant ice asteroid, like all that stuff's already done. So I'm going to take a risk here and I'm just going to float it. Um, I'm going to play tech stress power. And I'm going to get this domed crater down. And I think I'm going to play it here just to try and control as much space as possible. I guess somebody could play a city here, which would be annoying. I like it there, though. That gives me a lot of options. It's a little risky trying to float that plant, but I'm okay with it. It's worth noting, I have 13 points. I mean, this guy's got 13 points too. I'm up 11 on TR, and I'm up five as of now on milestones and we're about even on the board so I I mean I think the tractor player has the potential to just like go off with all those reductions and everything but I don't think we're out of it and I and particularly if I can make livestock or you know livestock convoy like a seven or eight point play like that's gonna go a long way um, that Predators is still float maybe floating around, but I, I doubt it. I doubt people took that card. The other thing that's good is if somebody, since I have a plant right now, if somebody goes to play their plant, if somebody plays a plant, I have a way to bump this twice, which is going to give me more points and get me closer to uh, getting livestock going. I mean, most players play in fear of getting their plants hit. I think if I were the Saturn Systems player, I think that the tractor player is going to see me as more of a risk than the tractor player or the Saturn Systems player, given that he has no milestones. Um, okay, so he went for heat conversion. Did not play his plant. So, oh, okay, for some reason I thought the tractor player had more production than that, but um, I must have been looking at the Saturn Systems player. So. Hmm. 
I mean, if they didn't hit my plants this turn, I, they, I'm just going to kind of guess they don't have it. And I'm probably just going to keep floating these and make this guy make a decision about uh, what he wants to do with that plant. Because I would like to get that heat bump if I can. Immigrant city. Okay. That's a good cheap city. Also going to help his economy, ultimately. Maybe he's going for... Okay, so he took the last, um, the last uh, one. That's pretty good. Let's see here. Um, How much gas does he have? He has enough to, certainly enough to buy a plant tile. Um, I guess the question is, do I care if that guy gets the heat bump? Right, I mean, like maybe I just go, maybe I just set the trap, you know, and basically go like, bump the heat. And then I think I'm just gonna play this right now. Well, maybe I won't. Maybe I won't do that. Let's take a look at this card, Inventor's Guild. No, I don't need that at this point. Yeah, I agree, Horst. I think waiting one more turn is the right play there. The thing is, I, I think that right now the Saturn Systems player is is not is is in third. And I'd rather him get the bump than the Teractor player, who's likely to it could do something like buy a plant or may have that like, you know, research card that lets you play a plant for cheap and then it can pick up two plants and immediately play another one. So I would I would prefer that the Saturn Systems player gets that bump if somebody's going to get it. Um, fish. Okay. Wonder who he went after. Okay, good. He went after the tractor player. That I think appropriately. If I were this guy, I would likely play buy a plant, play a plant. Although it doesn't really matter because he's got protected habs right now, so I can't I can't hit his plants. Nobody can. I don't have anything that can mess with his grid right now either. So I've got two science tags. Ooh, kelp farming. That one's good. Yep. Okay, so it is gonna let me get the bump, so that's nice. So let's go ahead and do this. And I'll play it. I don't wanna make it too enticing for somebody to play a city here. Five, six, seven, but it does get me another greenery next turn. All right, I'm gonna play it there. If somebody plays a city, it's like, okay, you got me. Um, all right, and then I'll go ahead and play the mining expedition. All right, that worked out pretty well for me. Glad I waited one more. So I'll hit the Saturn systems. I mean, it's worth noting, I have a big lead here in terraforming rating, and some of the, he's going to make some of this up, but not that much, because the Saturn Systems player is making a plant a turn, and I'm also making another plant. So, 
it doesn't look like I'm going to get to um, play Interstellar Colony Ship. It's looking more like I'm going to be looking to play Convoy Livestock for my big finish. Um, so I guess the question is... It might be nice to be able to get to four science tags. Like if I if I could play Gene Repair and Development Center, I think that would number one ensure that I get second in um, in uh, scientist if I needed it. But also it would turn on, um, or I mean it would also let me get uh, Gene Repair, which is just two points, pretty good, and a bump of two to my economy, which might actually help me get Banker. Um, I still don't understand why the tractor player hasn't hasn't funded scientists like that. I, I mean, the guy is playing super well. I, that one I don't get. Um, Okay, so what do I have left on my turn here? I don't have any actions left. I guess I'm gonna get rid of, yeah, there it is. Okay, I mean, that makes perfect sense, right? Like, I think I'm just passing here. I'm in, I wanna keep these cards to sell, as O'Malley pointed out to have some control over those awards. It's got 15 points and I've got 13 points. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be a close one. So I'm gonna get livestock down next turn. I'll get the plant bump. I think I wanna play one more city. I Like I think I wanna play one more city here. Although that could be a mistake. Um, because it's so expensive, but honestly, if I standard project a city and I get four cash back and I get four cash back for credit core, it only costs me, uh, it's eight off, so it costs me 17. So 17 for a point, basically for two points. It's pretty good, and it gives me a few more places to place plants. Though I may not need any more places, honestly. Like maybe it's just better to play the, the plant here and then have some steel to play development center. If, you know, should I decide I need that? I'm definitely not doing physics complex. It doesn't do anything for me. Splitting plant at this point also not going to do anything for me. Yeah, so I passed him the insects. That that kind of sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> he does have a lot of plant protection going, production going. But I think he's just too far behind on all the other stuff. Um, oh yeah, Noctis would be amazing right now. Man, that's a good point. That's actually I didn't really think about that when I played this one. Um, I should have thought about that because Noctis is, is going to be solid. Yeah, Saturn Systems has to get a city down here because with all the plant production, he's just going to run out of spots to place plants. I mean, um, like if I were the Tractor player, he still has enough cash. I would just sell some cards and play a city right here. I mean, this would be devastating for the purple player. Like basically, he's going to have two plants to play next turn and he would have to give us both points. Right, like I mean, if the yellow player plays a city here, this com just completely nerfs that guy. I 
think this game might end next turn. I think between the between just purple and green, we have three plants coming down next turn. And I'm pretty sure this guy has one too. Okay. Yeah, I think the game's ending next turn. So I have to take that into into account. I should have enough money to play a convoy. Um Convoy and uh, livestock. I should. I think I should have enough for that. And that's that's a pretty good, pretty good push there to get a bunch more points. Yeah. If I were him, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. If he doesn't view the purple player as a threat, there's no reason to spend all that cash there. Maybe maybe just start dropping plant tiles all around here, or just whatever he's got in hand that scores points. Interesting. So, eight two zero mass converter. So he's gonna probably maybe go for thermalist. That's not gonna help him though because he's not gonna get the benefit of that. Space elevator is is nice. A couple more points. He's at fifteen. Yeah, so he's going to go for Banker. Okay. It wasn't a huge one, though. Only 15. He's up to 15 now. 10 and 10. That fight for second on Banker could actually be important. Do I have any way? To, livestock will give me a couple bumps. Gene Repair. Oh, man, he's got Noctis. Brutal. That's a good play for him. And trees. Wow, the yellow player is definitely getting a lot of lot of a lot of value here at the end. Game's definitely ending this turn. So I've got a 12 point cushion here. So far a 2 point cushion up here. I really need the purple player to fund something that the yellow guy can't get. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to hack asteroid mining. Actually, I was wrong about that. That energy is going to help this guy. I wasn't thinking that through. Um, oh, Zeppelins and satellites. What? I only have one space type. So where? Am I, which way am I passing? Even down? So I'm passing to Saturn Systems. Oh, man, that's annoying. Five. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six cities. Seven. And I'm going to take Zeppelins. I might be able to get ahead of Teractor on that. I don't know if he saw that card. I'd have to think about that. I'm just going to take regular theater. So wait, we're passing even down. So the person who was passing to me was Teractor. Interesting. So Teractor passed me the card that bumps my economy. He's at 18, so he must just feel like he's got it. Um, I need to make sure I have enough money to do everything that I want to do this turn. The good thing is that, let's see. I do have five titanium, which is good. So that's 15, but I want to slow roll this turn so that, um, so that people can't fund 
minor until they know how much I'm gonna spend, right? Like I want that to be a contested one. I am gonna take Zeppelins. Basically, even if I come in second on Zeppelins, it's a three-point play. One on the card, and it ensures, it basically ensures I'm going to get second. Well, it doesn't ensure, because I did pass satellites to the Saturn Systems player. So he's probably going to play that. I don't know, there could be a fight for second. And basically, I just want to I want to slow roll this a bit. Um, so I'm just going to take one action at a time. Oh, private, Zeppelins doesn't count Phobos. I always forget that. It's just on Mars. I think another city's coming down, though. I think I think that Saturn System's going to play a city here. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So I think I think I got to slow roll this one. Man, he got his plant production up to ten. <laughs> He's going to get three more plants here. Um, actually, may, probably more because he's going to pick up some of those plant tiles in the down here. Yeah, Tractor Player really came on strong there in the end. I mean, Electro Catapult, I think, just completely saved his game. I think if he hadn't had Electro Catapult, I think he would have just been left in the dust. Um, but that, that card just adds up. I mean, I think he got that going on turn four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's going to end up being like 45 cash or something like that. That extra really helped. And AI also showing showing its uh, its merits. Power plant. Interesting. Yeah, I guess that's okay play. I mean it's okay. It's two points, and he's he's gonna. It gives him several more targets to play cities or plants, and they're relatively protected. Um, I don't think it's as bad as it looks. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get my plan down. Zeppelin's not a steal. I don't have anything in my hand that requires steel except for development center. But this also just sets me up for minor. Um, let's look at these awards here. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, actually, that you're right. He definitely should have put it there. Um, all right, let's take a look at Thermalist. This guy's going to have 10. This guy's going to have 10. And I'm going to have 14. I've got no other way to increase it. <laughs> I guess I have Aerobrick Ammonia. So it's a little risky. Um, but... Yeah, I don't think I can fund that one. Man, I'm just going to get out outdone on these awards. The the thing that's really hurting me right now is that the Saturn I need the Saturn Systems player to pick up one of these awards and there's just nothing that he's clearly in contention for. But like if if I just let the Teractor player pick up both of these awards, like I think I'm just losing. Um, I think you're right. I think sixteen. I mean, if this guy funded 
the miner would be great for me. But I have to spend, in order to get him to do it, I have to spend some of my own minerals to get him to do it. Like, I don't want to scare him off. I know, but the fact that Saturn has is so weakly positioned for these wards really hurts me because I'm like if I if the yellow player picks up some of these other ones, like Banker is devastating for me, assuming assuming that the um, Saturn Systems player picked up satellites or whatever, he's gonna get second in that. He, he can't compete on Landlord because the, the, that other guy's just got so many things coming down. Ugh. I don't think I can take Miner because... Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that, but... Um, now I'm going to put that one on the bottom. Alright, I'm just going to skip. Do one action at a time. I'm I think I'm I'm just gonna end up losing on on that. He's got eighteen points, I've got thirteen. He's, he's starting to bridge that gap a little bit. Um purple player is gonna have two two tiles coming down this turn. Yeah. I mean I guess the Teractor player doesn't have a ton of cash. Okay, that's pretty good. All right, so I definitely need to play my plant next to make sure that I get the extra points for that for the final bump. This game's definitely ending this turn. I'm just going to pick up these uh, steel bonuses in case I end up funding Miner. Um, so game's over. No, I've not played Livestock Convoy yet. I'm, I'm, you know, pretty likely to do that. I mean, okay, let's take a look at what I've got here. Let's say I keep all of my steel and I spend all my titanium. So I'll end up with 12, 13. Teractor player is going to have 12, assuming they don't spend any more or get any more. And this guy will have 16. I can't fund minor. Uh, this is this is the problem is that Saturn Systems and I are are competing over minor and we in order to prevent the yellow player from winning I think that we have to get one of those awards like I may end up just funding it for that guy I mean I, I just don't see how this guy's winning if he doesn't get an award there's just no way so I just have to trust that he's going to try and get one. I don't, I don't know. Maybe he can compete for for Banker. I mean, he's got satellites. Maybe maybe that guy will go for Banker and he'll get that one. I mean, he's only got 18 cash left at this point. How much does he have? 
36. Yeah, not great for me. There's the water imports. Okay, all right, he used his titanium. He did use his titanium, and he's making Landlord a little bit contested. So if this comes to me, I think I will fund Miner. And if I can fund Miner, I actually think I have a chance at this. Yeah, I think if I can get Miner, I think I have a chance. Now let me make sure I can afford all of that. So if I play Miner's 14, so what I want to play is going to be Convoy, Livestock, Miner. So in order to do that, I need 14, 13, 27, 57, 63. And I've got... So I need 63 cash. And I have 52 plus 5 times 3 is 15. 67. So I've got enough. Because I'm going to have 8, 12, 13. This guy's going to be at 8. And this guy's going to be at and he spent a steal. All right, I'm doing it. Doing minor. All righty. Yep, for sure. Um, and I'm going to skip. Let's see what this guy does. All right, I think I have a chance now. That was a big one for me. <laughs> hey Django, well, thanks for uh I I hope I think that's I'm going to take that as sincere. In a cynical world, I'm going to take your comment as totally sincere. Thank you. Um Mineral Deposit Private has been used. I played it earlier in the game. Um, So there's only a couple uh, production cubes left on the board. Use Chasma, okay. He's up to 18. Not sure about that placement. Maybe he's just pissed that I took minor. I don't know. <laughs> if I lose by a point, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Maybe he just needed the extra cash. I don't know. Um... Special design. Just seeing more cards. Oh, he's got the arrow. Yeah, that's good. Fusion power. That doesn't help him for thermal. It lets him cycle more cards. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, you're right, Wolf. Yeah, good call on that. That's a good call. Okay. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and play livestock here. And I'm just going to skip. I'm going to keep going one at a time here because I want to be able to react. I, I don't want the Teractor player to feel comfortable funding an award. Like My ideal scenario at this point is that this last award goes unfunded. I think that's probably unlikely. Um, but I, I want him to at least sweat it and it does suck that the tractor player is going to get second in minor I mean that is super annoying um, man the Saturn the Saturn system player not helping me out here <laughs> um, All right, so this guy's gonna have to start making some decisions here. I think he he can't just run me out because I think he's got he's got seven cards. I guess I got nine, so I can kind of sell a card at a time here if I have to. But yeah, I would like that too, but I don't think that he can afford it. Okay, a point plant production. Okay. Space elevator. All right. Let's go ahead and put a an animal on here. Okay, so let's take a look here. Right now, as it stands, this guy could win Landlord, but they're both going to pick up two more tiles. So I guess the Saturn system, I can't be too critical. He is helping me because... 7, 8, 9. Still going to be ahead of him. <laughs> okay. 9. And he's kind of putting the screws on this guy not to spend any more of his stuff. So, okay, all right. I take it all back, Saturn systems. You are helping me. And the fact that he's got two plants coming down next turn means that these guys are at parity on Landlord. I guess that would mean they just both get five points. Do I get... If, so if, if they both get five points, do I get two points? Am I considered second? That would be amazing. Do you guys know the answer to that? No, so basically it's just uh, okay. <laughs> we have uh, competing views on the uh, on the chat. Urbanized area. Okay. He's going to get Landlord. I think my best play is just Convoy. What's going through my mind is, should I fund Thermalist? Inst like, is that better? Nine, this guy's going to be at ten, and he's going to be at... 10 and I'll be at 14. It's too dangerous because if he has a space event, he, he still has optimal arrow breaking going. So I, I can't do that. Um, all right, and let's look at scientist. I'm still in second there, so I don't need to do anything there. All right, I hate playing this way, but I'm going to start selling cards. Well, 
Like, basically, I, I need to put the pressure on this guy not to be able to fund the awards perfectly. Like, if he decides that he wants to spend 20 cash to fund Landlord, fine. Then he has to commit to it. I, I want him to commit to that before I before I spend the cash and just give him free free range on it. Yeah, he should have landlord. I think he could just sell a couple of cards. Yeah, and then buy the landlord. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna one me. All right. Well, um, let's do <laughs> splitting plan. <laughs> Garth, I know you love this uh, sell a card at a time. How are we looking on points here? Man, he did end up with a lot of points on the board. Yeah, I think I think the tractor guy probably probably got it. Okay, there we go. Landlord. Okay, that's what I thought he was gonna do, and nothing I could really do about that. Um, so let's go ahead and get. Convoy down. I can use all of that, right? I did the cal. Yeah, I, I did the calculation. I'll put them on livestock, and I drew two cards: biomass converters, and that's it. So if I Let's see. Let's look at these guys' plants. So he's gonna have. He's gonna make one. Get some. I can't prevent him from getting a plant. I could prevent him, but I don't really care. It's not worth a negative point for me to do it. Um, yeah, I was just looking at that. I don't think it's actually gonna be good. I think it's just better for me to play zeppelins. Um, or gene repair. How many tags do I have? Just two. Um, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna sell um, development center, physics complex, uh, towing a comet, air break ammonia. And then I'll play Zeppelins and get one more point. All right. Yeah, I think the these awards fights were just they like the fact that the purple player got shut out of everything just really hurt me. I like there's just no way that it's just tough. Um, because I don't think I have enough of an edge to like. I I think basically yeah, I just I'm gonna lose by five or seven points or something. Um, I don't think that I had enough of an edge in terraforming rating to overcome. I mean, that guy has 20 VP. I have 21 VP or whatever. Um, so, like, it just came down to milestones and awards. And, um, because he's certainly going to have more points than me on the board with that plant production. I don't think so, Wolf, because he can just go here. Let's see here. So he's got he's got 16. So if I took one away, he just plays one here and then plays another one. I, I don't think I can I don't think I could prevent him.
Yeah, if I had taken one away, he'd be at fifteen. He would play. He would just play the plants here, and then and then he'd have enough. I don't. I don't. I don't think there was a way I could have blocked him. It was a great game. Um, I really needed. Uh, I just. I think I needed the Saturn Systems player to be a little bit more of a force in that one. Um, in order to have a chance, because the Tractor player just generating, I mean, he played great, but like not being able to stop him on those awards at the end, just I think it's going to be too much to overcome. And he and he got second in minor. I mean, that's the thing. Like, I don't, I don't think the Saturn Systems player, he got the only milestone award he got was second on Landlord. Um. All right, moment of truth here. Yeah, those 12 points on awards just killed me. Um, yeah, because he definitely has enough to overcome me on city placement. It's going to be like seven points. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think um, pretty good game, but like I just really needed that Saturn Systems player to, to hold him in a little bit better. Um Great game, though. I'm trying to think, so... What if I had played Thermalist on the last turn? It, it, instead of playing Convoy, if I play Thermalist... So I, I subtract six points for my own score, but I add five, so I'm a net negative one. I go to 81, but then that guy goes to 83, and then he gets second in Thermalist and goes to 85. Um, yeah, I don't think, don't think I would have been able to stop that guy from winning. I like without, without the purple player getting an award. Just no way. I, I don't think I was going to be able to stop that. Well, Thermalist would have prevented him from getting Landlord. So, Thermalist would have subtracted five from him, but he would have gotten plus two because, believe it or not, he was second in Thermalist because this guy had tied for cubes. So he would have been minus three total at 85, and I would have gotten five points rather than six. So it actually, Thermalist would have actually kept me a little closer. Um, no, I know. I, so I sub, that's what I said. So I subtracted six for Convoy, but plus five for Thermalist. I end up at 81, and he ends up at 85. So that would have been a four point instead of a six point gap. And I mean, again, if, if this guy were second in Thermalist, then it would have been a two point gap. I could have gotten him down to uh, 83 and I would have been at 81. But, you know, like this guy got 12 points on awards. like. I mean, this guy got two points on milestones and awards, and that's just like not enough. Um, I mean, we were at parity on milestones and awards. I got a big, you know. Usually, if you pick, a, if you get two milestones, you're in good sh shape. Because usually, some, you know, if you get locked out on milestones, you're definitely angling to get an award. And I think that, you know, just the Tractor guy had just such a dominant overall, just generalized strategy. It wasn't clear what the Saturn Systems player was doing, but. Uh, to, to try and do, you know, to like try and get into an award. Um, but basically, we were at parody on milestones and awards, and he just crushed me on the ground. And I beat him a lot on terraforming. So, pretty, pretty close. Um, I'd have to go back and look. I, I don't, I'm not sure just off the top of my head if there was anything really obvious that I did wrong. It just depends on what cards were being passed to.
yeah. Anyway, uh, that's a good one. So thanks for those of you watching on the YouTube channel. I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop that recording. Let me know in the comments if uh, what you think we could have done. I think I think optimal play could have gotten this to 85, 81. Um, but I don't, I'm, I'm not seeing a, a way out of the out of my last few cards there to really have gotten it closer. So um, thanks for watching.